Mobad was brought in dead. He didn't die in our facility. Lagos Hospital finally reviews this same hospital where Mobad was allegedly rushed to on the same day he passed finally released a statement on instagram paris medcare hospital released a statement consigning mobile death in the statement shared on its instagram page on monday night the hospital stated that the singer was brought in there at the hospital the hospital also debunked rumors that the singer was admitted into the hospital according to the statement the attention of the management of paris medcare hospital has been drawn to the misleading and false information being circulated in some social media platform that Mr. Irelio Oluwa Oladimeji Aloba, aka Mobad, died in our medical facility, which is not true. We consider it pertinent to put on record that about 4.30 p.m. on the 12th of September 2023, the lifeless body of Mr. Irelio Oluwa Oladimeji Aloba, aka Mobad, was brought to our medical facility and our medical team immediately sprang into action and after assessment it was discovered that there was no sign of life no single life in him no central or peripheral pulse no heartbeat no recordable vital signs and his pupils were fixed and dilated on attempting cpr cardiopulmonary restitution rigor mortis and stiffening of some part of the body in relation to death was observed and the persons who brought him to our facility were informed that it was a case of BID brought in dead. Upon inquiry about the circumstances leading to the emergency, our team was informed that the deceased was being treated at home by a nurse and that she administered injections on him. According to Perret Hospital, Mobad was BID brought in dead and they informed the person that brought him to the hospital because in a particular interview, someone said that they saw Mobad walk into the hospital. This hospital is saying that it's a lie. According to them, our team thereafter advised that the body be taken to the nearest government hospital where he can be deposited in the morgue or mortuary. Let it be known that Mr. Irelio Oluwa Oladimeji Aloba, a.k.a. Mobad, was not a patient of Paris Medicare Hospital and was never admitted at our hospital at any material time whatsoever. Also, the nurse who was said to be administering treatment on him at home is not the staff of Perez Medicare Hospital. This was their statement. Hmm. Guys, this is so serious because this hospital is clearly saying that Mobad was never admitted to the hospital, that he was brought in dead. And, you know, recall in our previous post, there was a video of a man saying that he saw Mobad walk into the same hospital that day. I even took pictures with Mobad and Mobad was quite dull that they had to wait for him to come out for them to, you know, relate because they are his fans. Recall that that particular person said that he's going to upload that picture that he took with Mobad and release more information. And up till now, all of a sudden, that man vanished. After he vanished, immediately after he vanished, this hospital declared that Mobad did not even walk into the hospital or come to the hospital alive, that Mobad was BID, brought in dead. Hmm. Now, this is looking so fishy and suspicious. What exactly is going on? This hospital is clearly saying that, you know, they have nothing to do with it. And the nurse was never a nurse of their hospital. This is so serious and we don't even know who is lying anymore. So this hospital are supposed to provide us with the CCTV footage of that same day, that 12th September. They should show us the same date and time that they are talking about. Now, there's a witness saying that Mobad walked into the hospital and even took a selfie with him. And this same hospital is saying that Mobad was brought in there. So this hospital is supposed to provide the public with CCTV footage for us to understand better because this is not making any sense. Meanwhile, in a trending video of the police saying that if you beat somebody and it causes injury to that person and a year later, such person die or have any issues that the law can still hold you responsible for that person's death till the medical examination will be done on the person. This was the same police um, video trending on social media all through today. Meanwhile, Naira Mali and Sam Larry, who were clearly assaulting and dealing with Mobad, even though they are a friend to the same police, you know, they have been ignored. The police said they are going to declare them wanted if after a few days they don't, you know, turn in themselves for questioning and everything. But they failed to do that. They never turned up and they have not even said anything. They vanished out you know and the same police failed to declare him wanted and at the same time this same police did not do anything with all the videos trending on social media they have not done anything regarding naira mali and samlari bullying and harassment on mobad so in as much as we are concerned 
people are now saying on social media that the trend is that there are many culprits in this that actually led to his death and hurt him and killed him but we have seen a clear evidence if if you all can believe or can really say the truth we all have seen videos on social media where naira mali and sam larry dealt with mobad and that is enough reason for them to be brought in this was actually what the police said themselves you know it's been 14 days since and the physical assaulter naira mali and sam larry has not been declared wanted for the end for any of their action which we know that this is not fair it's the same police that said all this and you will see the video i'm going to put this video next on the screen for you guys to listen to what they said Meanwhile, they say they are doing a thorough investigation and they are going to get their facts right for who truly killed him, which is okay. But we still know that Naira Mali and Sam Neri killed him even before he died because they have been haunting him and dealing with him badly. They beat him at every opportunity they get. They made sure that they cancelled him in the industry. They made him suffer. He was bullied to the point where he was even asking to die. They dealt with him so much, so they really need to be brought in. Why we wait for the autopsy result and other investigation being carried out on all his family members and friends? You know, we also want the police to take action against these two, Naira Mali and Samlari, because no stone should be left unturned. And we want justice and we'll get justice in every aspect because this is just a clear evidence, you know. Just listening to this same video where the police were saying all this with their own mouth, saying that anybody that, you know, beat somebody and whatever, whatever, and even if after a year the person finally passed on, that that person will still be held accountable. Listen to the video and see everything they said themselves and now relate to what they are doing now. If it's actually a normal random Nigeria, by now this would be history. This story would have been, you know, concluded. But because it's Naira Mali and Samlari, which is their party, like actually their friends, their best of friends, you know, they are doing otherwise. They have not brought them in. Just listen to this video where the police was saying all this. Listen to it and hear for yourself. We have a sort of now. Then the degree of this injury determines the nature of the offense again. We have grievous harm. When you cause bodily harm or grievous harm to someone, it has higher punishment than assault or assault occasional harm. All these things go like that. Then, if you beat someone in a fight and you cause injury to someone, do you know that if that person dies within a year and a day, the law still presumes you are the one that killed the person. That the injury you have caused to this person is still the cause of the death, except otherwise stated by experts, either autopsy or something else. That is why it's dangerous. A year and a day that you fought, maybe in your locality, in your village, in the cast room, a market square, shopping mall, anywhere. You fight someone, you cost. So you guys heard everything yourself. Now you can see this is not what they are doing. They have been using this same law on every Nigerian. But now it's Naira Mali and Sam Larry, their friends. They are dodging. Saying that they will declare them wanted if they don't turn themselves in after some days. And it's been weeks. They did not. They did, still did not declare them wanted or do anything. Rather, they are silent. Saying they are still investigating. They are trying to get the facts right. You know, this is so sad and heartbreaking. I don't know what you guys think about this. Because for me, this is so sad. And I never expected the police to even do anything special. Because it's them, of course. It's the Nigeria police. They keep saying they are our friends. But they are not our friend. They will always show themselves. Whatever you think about this, comment it in the comment section. Let us know what your opinion is. We'll see you guys on our next one. Thank you so much.